Hey there everybody, Chuck Molusky here, and today we are here to look at Kona once again. It has now came out in a full release on Steam, and we are going to go play parts that have never been played before. This is like the second chapter, so to say. We're going to go ahead and dive in. We're going to go with our old save, and we should have things unlocked that we have never seen. So this should be all new gameplay from here on out. Oh, I'm super pumped up, dude. I've been waiting for this for quite the while now. Little bit of load time and right into the game. Dr. DePure's Clinic. Press A to continue. Alright, so something that was in the past was this, and it said come back. Come back in March. So this has been updated. We can. Doctor. Inspect. Flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happiness captured on cardstock. Carl recognized this woman's soulful eyes. Was it Dr. Beaupre who had hit him head on at the village border? Nobody kills a rich patient to start a revolution. It didn't make any sense. He had to dig deeper still to understand. Luckily, that was Carl Fulbert's specialty. All right, so we do have our light on. It looks like we will read these medical files as well. We can put that flashlight away now. What about this thing? Ooh. Unknown woman. I never did catch her name. The man called her Laura. She had a neck wound. Feel free to pause the screen to read that. So is that all? It does look like it. All right, so we got a little bit of new information there. I don't think that there's anything new in here. Carl got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. Within I'm these assuming walls, patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. All right, so we are all warmed up and good to go. So as soon as we actually leave the clinic, we can actually head down here, and so basically, um, all of this area that was surrounding the clinic Great was actually blocked off. Searching this place full of so we're gonna go ahead. Everything was important. The decor itself told a story. We're gonna go ahead and get in the truck, and we're gonna go ahead and try to get to the new area. So if we pull out our map right here, get in and out of the truck. Apparently, <laughs> all right. So we're gonna look to our map. And we're going to go left and see these three houses have never been explored. All of this area was blocked off before. So we should be able to go to them now and continue our story. Come on, Carl. Oh, dude. Sweet. It's all unlocked. Sweet, sweet. Oh, what do we have here? All right, so our first new area shall be coming up. Can we not look at the map? There it is. Alright, so we can go all the way up here and there's like a turnaround spot. There should be another house. We should get some new information here. And some new supplies and junk. Alright, we got another shed. Rosier's house. Shed, garage thingy. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's gonna be another empty house. This is a tiny house. What is up with the shed? Can we get in here? We got a trash can. One fire starter. Hey, Cinder Black, how you doing? All right, we are all locked up. Is there anything down here? There does not seem to be. Looks like we got another access to the river. Whoa! 
Holy Whoa, cow! <laughs> Dude, that was sweet. Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange genre ton tisse par ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt et puis bang 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 si ça s'approche. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't blame you, bro. Si tu veux du linge chaud parce que t'es habillé comme un gars de la ville, tu irais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Puis tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi mes guenilles. <laughs> you wouldn't say no to a bottle of caribou. Car trade caribou for coat. So he doesn't care if I take this stuff? C'est encore beau. Tout ce qui est vieilli est bien meilleur. Dude, this is kind of cool. This is the first character we've ever seen in the game, so... This is kind of something. I guess we'll go ahead and fill up that bottle. Let's go ahead and take a look around, see if there's actually anything we can take. Hey, la Corriveau, Batesh. Ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corriveau. A tué tous ces maris. Squeak, les uns après les autres. Pas de pitié dans le mariage. Kill her husband quick. This guy seems not to care that we are totally ransacking his house and taking stuff. Don't touch that kid. You'll hurt yourself. All right, yeah, he does care about that apparently. Go moi la belle rose la tulle qui se donne au yob sur le mercredi des sables. Si tu peux faire une histoire. Tales and Legends page 1. C'est le Wendigo. Ouais, le Wendigo. Un guerrier qui devient un loup pour se venger de sa grosse peine. Nice, we didn't even have to start the fire. He already had it going. He's got a little food sitting out there. Um, anything else in like these? These little cabbies? Is that a thing? That is not a thing. Silverware? Food and junk that we cannot take. Hey everybody, we got a crazy guy over here. Dude, I like you. You're you're weird. Can we get into here? We can. Give me my flashlight, inspect. Yeah, diaper. He's got a diaper inside his little uh, pooper shed. What is this? Is there poop inside of this bucket? What is up? This guy's kind of weird. I thought he was cool. He's, he's kind of he's kind of weird. So it looks like we're gonna have to go on. Looks like we're gonna need to go on to one of the other houses. Oh no, we got the key! Take it, I don't care. Sweet! I wonder if he's gonna try to shoot me again when we go back in there. Either way, we already got the shed key. Flashlight boy, flashlight man. We'll take a lantern, screw it. You ain't gonna give me nothing good? Oh, we got another empty gas can. If we we should probably head back to the general store at some point and get a bunch of gas. I wonder if we're actually gonna run out. Ooh. The saw that is long enough to take down the biggest tree up north. Alright, so it looks like that is that in this. So we need to bring him a bottle of caribou. Let's go ahead and jump back in the truck and head on to the next house. I don't know if we're going to find a bottle of caribou over here or if it's going to be further north. I think we're going to go ahead and take a look at the next house down the road. There Carl had fed his mind, but had forgotten the harsh reality that his body also needed nourishment, especially in the dead of winter. Yeah, I should probably like eat and junk. And I should probably go the right way, also. Come on, Carl. Driving into the woods. Smash, smash. Back on the road, Carl. We got business to handle. So that was the place that we just came from. The next place should be, what, up here on the left? Is that correct? Yep, a little ways, a little ways down the road there. So there is stuff that's also like in the woods, so that we need to go running around also, but we're gonna go to the main spots quick, try to do 
some of the main story stuffs. There was also like treasure maps that were like lost in the woods in like special little containers. We only found a couple of them last time, so. Oh, oh, oh. This is totally gonna be a thing. Do we, do we have to take a picture of this one or is... Yeah, buddy! Good click. Is that a keeper? Oh, you don't want to throw it away. It's not even a keeper. Look at these wolf tracks, bro. Are they going to go up to the house? What is this? Hey, we totally got a thing. How far is it actually to get to the house from here? Is it far? It's not terrible. We'll just leave the truck there. So we got the footprints leading all the way over here. We have another vehicle. Is that another throwaway pick? Why are you telling me to take pictures if we just have to throw them away? Can we access the back of this truck? No. That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With right. that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. All right, so we have another house over here. Looks like we got some blue junk. This might be a for real picture. Take out camera, take picture of blue junk, clickety click click. Nope, you don't. You didn't. You want me to take pictures of all this crap, but none of it helps us apparently. What is this? Oh, a little target, target range, huh? So can we actually? With a homemade shooting range there we such go. as this, it wasn't hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. Looks like we might have a little cooler over... Oh, what is, it? What is this? Oh, it's just a beer bottle on a thing. Can we get in? <gasps> is there someone here? The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Oh, what is this? Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, we will prevail. People were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. All right, so we got a little bit of new information here. We do have a water bottle on us. I'm gonna go ahead and drink that puppy, get us a little bit better in the brain. We have a Led Zeppelin record, is that what this Rock is? music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable though, so there's that going for him. Is this a wallet? At age Bloin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. Huh. All right. What is these? Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. All right. Did that show us how to make caribou? Dang it! I should have looked. <laughs> I should have looked at it. What is this? The Another rag diaper? reeked of fermented vomit. Oh, yum. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. Drawers are overrated. What is this? Oh, prepare caribou. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Good lord, so he's just over here making alcohol and drinking it like a crazy old butthole. <laughs> Why wash dishes when clean ones are within reach? Nothing in there, nothing in there. Anything in this drawer? Nothing. Little bit of music.
Alright, so this guy is making caribou, and that old guy over there that's gonna shoot us in the nuts wants some. And we do have some, so I guess we should probably go on back and see if he gives us the coat, because the coat's probably gonna help a ton with being outside. Looks like there's broken glass in here, and it looks like we have seen what we can see. Let's take one log, we could throw it in our truck. So we got our target range. Oh, what about this? Can we actually... It's probably just the outhouse. We do have cigarettes in here, though. And cigarettes help Carl think. So let's go ahead and let him puff one. Consumable cigarette. Flick. <laughs> Alright, so there is a break in the fence, so we can actually get over here. We can check out this. We're probably going to run into more wolves shortly here. We're going to get a lot more in-depth with this in the future. We're just kind of doing a quick quick vid for this time. Let's go ahead and look at these things. Do we have... Yeah, more bottled beer. So it looks like there might be stuff out behind the house and stuff. But I'm, I'm going to say let's go ahead and look at the old man and see if we can go ahead and get that jacket. So back to the truck. All right, so we are back over here at the old man's house. Is the door closed? Did I leave it open or closed? Is he going to pull a gun on us again? Yeah, walk. Yeah, walk. I smell your feet. Hey, bro, don't shoot. Yeah, dude, I got the caribou, bro. Tu fais bien de prendre ma pénis. Parce que par là-bas, tu vas rencontrer le vrai froid. Un froid qui glace comme t'en as jamais connu dans ta vie. <laughs> You're dang right. I will take that coat. Achievement unlocked. Winter is coming. Alright, so we got a new journal entry unlocked. We could go ahead and look at that thing. Where we got? We got a journal. Here is our book. Hamilton's murder the young woman. Probably a cold mis after cold mystery four. Is this the new part? It looks. Hamilton's murder. Joan Vaughn. Alright, we will look into this a little more in the future. We do have our winter jacket now, so our we should be able to sustain ourselves much longer outside. We should have a lot of these things that we saw. Can we turn this off? Yeah, haha. <laughs> Should have it marked in our journal. But I think we're going to go ahead and leave it here. We're going to go ahead and keep continuing playing Kona, so there should be more episodes in the very soon future here. Looks like we're all warmed up. We got a brand new friggin' coat, and our best friend ever with a gun is chilling here. Can we take this gun? Dang it. Is that the caribou in his lap? Yeah, drink it up, bro. All right, guys, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and throw a like down. If you're not subscribed, you can do that for more Kona in the future, and we will be back soon with more. Bye-bye.